All right, we're gonna record. It's just gonna snow tomorrow night. Oh, sorry. Are you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Sirs. What's going on, guys? Thanks for checking out Black Diamond Guns of Gear. I'm Josh. And I'm Josh. Guys, we got the suggestion to do this video. I don't know what this motion was, but we got the suggestion to do this video. And uh, it's probably overdue, to be honest with you, because I don't think we've done this before on our channel. So we know that it's a couple of days into 2022, maybe a couple of weeks, but we're bringing you a well-do video. So this is basically our top picks of firearms, whether it be rifles or pistols that we have bought in the year of 2021. And uh, these are our favorites. We want to, first of all, tell you to go to 762tuesday.com and check it out. Our website there, it's basically, as it says, 762tuesday.com. You can check it out. We got patches on there for sale now. We're gonna have belts and stuff here in the next little bit, fat guy belts. But yeah, go check out 762tuesday.com. Cool shirts. Yeah, awesome shirts, merch and stuff like that. So go check it out at 762tuesday.com. All that stuff is in the links below. You go there and support us that way. So let's jump right into it. Well, you, you go first, I'll go first. Me? Yeah, I want you to go first. Oh, man. So this is our top ten. firearms. Yeah, 10. We got five. We got five, five, of, five of each of firearms that we bought in 2021. First up, I'm going to do the Arsenal Sam 7 SF. Ooh. This was uh, one of my favorite picks. These are imported in low numbers. Um, so if you can get a uh, Arsenal Sam 7 SF when they come in, uh, I would honestly buy one. It's the milled receiver like the Sam 7, but with a Galil style uh, folding stock. Yeah. And these things are super accurate uh, because they're milled, they're low recoil, and they're easy to shoot. And it also has the uh, muzzle brake on the end uh, that helps mitigate recoil. Yeah. It is very, very easy to shoot and easy to keep on target. Uh, we haven't now some of these things we have not done videos on yet, but hey, that just means we got backlogged inventory that we have to do videos on. Yeah. So some of this stuff is still coming. Uh, some of this stuff we have done videos on. I'm gonna go with uh, sort of a pistol. Well, it's a pistol. This is the CMMG Banshee in nine millimeter. This thing takes Glock mags, and it takes every size Glock mag that you have except for the 43X mags. But this thing is probably one of the best pistols out there, in my opinion. For what you pay for this, it's just awesome. The AR pistol. This thing has a Holosun. What is that? Holosun HS403B. I don't even know what I don't even know what that is. Anyway, it's just a Holosun red dot optic on it. It's pretty nice. Haven't done much to this because of all the stuff you get with it. You get the oversized charging handle. You get the fast back uh, CMMG patented uh, brace from SB Tactical. You got a QD points on it on the back here. I added one on the front because there wasn't one up here, but it has a very short four inch barrel. It's already got a threaded barrel, so you can put, you know, this has got a protector on it, but you can, you know, put a can on it if you want. The thing about this is the great with cans. That's awesome because it's radial delayed blowback, which means that it's, you know, it, it takes an extra second for everything to blow back. It's not a direct blowback, it's radial delayed. Yeah. So shooting this with a suppressor, Matched with subsonic ammo, stupid quiet. Yeah, crazy quiet. CMMG Banshee in the 300 series is by far my favorite AR pistol, AR9 pistol. So talking about Glocks, guys, I know that a lot of people think we're Glock fanboys. Well, we are. Well, we are, so it's fine. And one of my favorite things is the Glock 19. So we ended up getting the Glock 19 Gen 5 in this cool battlefield green color. We also paired it with some Trijicon night sights, and uh, it's pretty much stock, but it is Gen 5, so it has all the latest and greatest of your Glocks. I'm not going to go into details, but like I said... I love the no finger grooves on the Gen 5s, man. That I'll is, agree with that's that. That's my favorite thing. But this is one of my favorite things. This thing's just a tack driver. You know, they, they upgraded the rifling, so they gave you better rifling. Uh, in turn made it a better shooting pistol. Uh, and like I said, when paired with these Trijicon three dot sights, uh, I think this is just an amazing firearm. Yeah. I remember we got this in the beginning of 2021, probably about March or so or something like that. Yeah. But we found these two firearms just like this, exactly like at the same store here in Maryville called uh, Bill's Outpost. And because it came with the same color magazines as the frame, 
we were just like, oh man, those are freaking rad. So we, we got two of these. I got one and he got one. Uh, and again, it's a Glock 19. That's my favorite firearm, so yeah, why not? I think they're awesome. Sticking with the pistol, I'm going to go with my favorite, I won't say underdog, but it's my favorite carry pistol of 2021 that came out in 2021 and that would be the shield plus this thing is so awesome because it keeps the same footprint as the regular shield this server is just a little bit thicker in the frame and it carries this one holds 14 rounds because this is a 13 round magazine so you got this basically the same footprint as a regular shield slide size everything like that so we're just a little bit thicker in the frame and you get 13 rounds of this magazine so that means that you get 14 in this small of a package that was the regular shield size. I mean, that's just unheard of. As far as the size and the quality of Smith & Wesson, you can't really beat it. The flat facing trigger in here that has like the little dingus in the middle, doesn't have a manual safety, but hey, you know what? When you got two safeties in the gun already, you don't really need a manual safety, in my opinion, on a carry pistol. Agreed. So with this, this is the little extended magazine. It's not really flush fit, but you can able to get your entire hand on there. Dude, I just love this pistol. Smith & Wesson makes a great product. Their M&P series is freaking out the roof. If I wouldn't carry a Glock, I'd be carrying an M&P, basically. I love it. They knocked it out of the park on this one, guys. Yeah, I really like that pistol. So next up, guys, we got the Galil Ace Gen 2. Now, I got this kind of close to the end of 2021, but this is the Galil Ace Gen 2, and I chose to do it with AR mags just because I've got a metric ton of them. Yeah. So yeah, I could have got one with AK mags. I could have got one that shot 7.62 by 39, but I train a lot with 5.56, just the reliability. You know, we, we get that asked a lot. Why'd you get that in 5.56? Why'd you get this? Why'd you get that? Well, it's just because I have a metric ton of magazines <laughs> and a metric ton of ammo. Now this guy's, it does have the side folding brace. Sorry. Um, Gotta be a man to pull it up. God dang. I was pulling it the wrong way. But it is uh, side folding, like we said. And I do have it paired with a EOTech on the top. So, super cool, guys. Uh, you gotta think, and <laughs> that's how, you know, I hate to go back to this, but like, you know, shit hit the fan situation. Everybody always talk about shit hit the fan situation, shit hit the fan situation. And if shit hits the fan situation, there's going to be tons of AR mags Dude, laying around. everybody, how many ARs are out there right now? Millions. Millions of ARs, at least in America anyway. Yep. Millions of ARs out there. So if you've got one, you know, platform that's going to take all those magazines, why would you not get something that's going to... That's, your, I, that's I, your favorite firearm that's going to take that magazine. That doesn't make any sense not to get it. Yeah. And, and then again, you know, like I said, I've got three or four AR mags laying around. <laughs> so that's just the same thing with this. It takes Glock mags, every Glock mag, except for the 43X single stack ones. And we might have two or three Glock mags. Yeah, how around. many magazines do you have laying around in your truck? Or you should have laying around in your truck. How many magazines you four, got on you? Maybe. Two or three? That's, yeah. that's yeah, four. That's it, you know, because anything <laughs> past that, you got a weapons cache. <laughs> yeah, according to most people or most news organizations. Okay, my turn, right? Okay, so this is a new one for me that I actually have not got to play with yet, but the reason why we picked it up is because Josh has one that's exactly the same thing like it. Kinda. It's a little older, uh, but this one is brand new, and uh, I love this kind of AK. Now, I really, really like Josh's. Like I said, I haven't had to been able to play with this one for a little bit, uh, but I like all the wood furniture on it. This is a Stava N92. This is the Z-Pack, guys. This is uh, freaking rad. Now, I don't know that much about AKs, but Josh knows a whole lot about AKs, so I'm actually gonna let him tell you everything there is to know about this thing. So guys, this is the Z-Pack. This is actually not a Century Arms import. This is actually the new the Zestava import. Now, my older one is an n -Pap, which means that it has a little bit less features than this, but this one does have the bulge trunnion. It also has the 1913 on the back, so you can put yep. your brace and stuff like that. That and was also, one of the most selling factors for me, honestly. Exactly, yeah, because before you'd have to either make something work, but this, you can put any 1913 accessory on the back, and not only that, we had this SB tactical brace on the back, so, or we had it actually laying around, Yeah. and 
I actually we, bought it for another one that I, that I didn't know they didn't have it on there. So yeah, had it kind of laying around. So we just threw it on there and went with it. And it's 1913 up here on the top on the dust cover, which is a hinged dust cover for all you guys that are going to be like, oh, I wouldn't put a, uh, an optic on that. Well, it's 1913 on that. It's hinged and it's awesome. Yeah. Now there's other things that we want to do to this. We haven't done them yet because, well, we ain't had time. Yeah. But yeah, that's the ZPAP 92 from Zestava Arms. Yeah. Really, really like that pistol or AK pistol. So I guess it's next for me. We already talked about the Gen 5. Well, because I am a Glock fan and I am a Glock 19 fan, I ended up picking up this one. I actually have a Gen 3 in OD green. I got this one here very, recently. Very similar. Yeah, very similar, except for it's a Gen 3. Yeah. So I have a soft spot in my heart for Gen 3 firearms. Now this is, like I said, the OD green, which is kind of a harder color to find anymore. Oh yeah. Um, it's just because 90% of the people who own Gen 3 firearms and have these end up cutting the finger grooves off of them, stippling them, yep. doing a very poor job and ruining them. Yeah, basically. So when you send the frame back to Glock, they send you back a black frame. So if you've got an OD green one, have we have we found that out from experience or no? I, you just read Glock forms, you know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, OD Green guys, I love the Gen Three firearms, and this one's staying in the collection. Yeah, another pistol that we have out here that I really really like, and is actually probably one of my favorites of the entire year, is the Walther PDP. Now this is the compact version. We have done a video on this. This this Walther PDP is literally one of the most accurate pistols I've ever shot. Hands down, me and Josh shooting it and Brandon shooting it, we basically have no problem sticking it in a fist size group from 20 yards out or longer. It's just uh, very, very consistent, very, very accurate. I don't know what the difference is in the barrels or, or something like that. I don't know what makes it so accurate, but it just is. Text Glock uh, sights on it, which are great. Why would you not want some of the text Glock sights? Because they're everywhere. It's got great stippling. It's got great uh, trigger in it. One of the most, one of the best out of the box triggers I've ever uh, seen on a firearm. Also, has amazing ergonomics, guys. Yes, feels so good in your hand. Uh, the serrations on the actual slide, it's just out of this world. Like it's, it's what the uh, Beretta APX wanted to be, but this is actually the better version of that. Yeah. Uh, it actually comes with a optic cut already on it. It comes with a QR code in the box. You can take a shot of that or send it to Walther and they'll send you basically the plate that you're going to use for whatever optic it is. Haven't done that yet. Need to do that. Uh, it comes with a rail on the bottom. Just awesome. Just awesome pistol. Love it a lot. And by far, one of the pistols I would be carrying if, uh, like I said, it wasn't carrying a Glock. So I got to say, guys, this is probably the best fighting pistol of 2021. Absolutely, 100%. Yep, 100% I agree with that. What you got? So guys, next, this is the CMMG Mark 47. Two now, CMMGs made it on the table. So I actually took the optic off of this, or red dot, uh, to put on a different rifle that we were gonna review here recently. I did not put another one back on it, but this is the full length Mark 47. Now the cool thing about this is there's other rifle manufacturers that bring these to the market. Uh, Palmetto brought the KS-47, but the KS-47 is an, an AR-15 pattern. Yep. This is more in the AR-10 pattern. This has an AR-10 style bolt, which, I mean, if you watch any of our videos where we're actually shooting the Mutant, uh, K, or excuse me, the MK-47. It's not the Mutant, I guess. Right? Oh, we can call it the Mutant. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But these things are freaking awesome, and they withstand anything you throw at them. Yeah. All Every right. time we go to a range day, man, they are just out there pumping away rounds. At, you know, the Iraq Veteran 8 range day, we went to two of them this year. Just out, I think they said they slung like 7,000 rounds each time, not to mention the times they went to other range days and, you know, the primary arms range day, they were out there with that. They just, just killing it. So this thing is going to stand up. Yeah, these things are just tanks, guys, literal tanks. And by far, it will not disappoint you. If you get an opportunity to buy the MK-47, 
do it. No matter which size, do yeah. it. <laughs> yep. That's basically. So that's that's how I ended up with the full size. I was wanting the pistol version. That way we could form one it and make it an SBR. But you know what? I got the rifle version. And I do not regret it. Yeah, I'd take it. My last one we got on the table is the POF Minuteman rifle. Now this thing is probably loaded. Yep. So did I hit you with that? Sorry. Uh, basically, it it. this is my <laughs> uh, my home defense rifle, go-to rifle. It's got everything I want on it. It's got you know enforced light on the top. Uh, Swamp Fox optic blade on there with a Holosun magnifier, which for some reason goes together. Works really well. Uh, it's got almost like the Radian style charging handle. It's got their E2 squared uh, chamber. This is the best fighting rifle I own. It's saying a lot for me because I love this rifle and it just works. I know that nothing's gonna get stuck in here. Brass, steel case, nothing. nothing. I don't have to worry about it getting stuck. I don't have to worry about malfunctions because honestly, we haven't had any. Yeah. Uh, we and haven't had any of this, put, all this. Yeah, we've put a lot of rounds for this thing, and POF makes an exceptional battle rifle. Oh, yeah. When I say that, I mean our buddy Eric did a meltdown on these, and they just kept running. Yeah. Now, granted, he did have the piston version, but still, these things are freaking tough. And uh, yeah. basically, it has the anti-walk pins and everything. For what you get for the money that you pay for it, I think it's around 15, 1600 bucks or something like that. Yeah. You don't need to do anything else to this rifle. Throw your optic on it, throw your light or whatever you want on it. That's it. Just run it how it is. So that's what we did. And uh, I could not be more pleased with this POF Minute Man. Of course, we got to pair it up with a Flatline Fiber Company sling. So if you don't know who Flatline is, go check them out. I'm sure you do. They're all over the place. So guys, that's our top 10 firearms of 2021. Now we're already working on top 10 firearms of 2022. Yeah. Stay tuned for that one. Go check out uh, Ballistic Air where you can find all of our merch. We got patches for sale now. Go to US Law Shield and use promo code BDGG. It's right here on my shirt. All that stuff is available on our website, 762Z.com. You can also go check out our podcast, the other YouTube channel we have, 762Z Podcast Channel. And uh, follow us everywhere, Instagram and all that crap. Guys. We just hit 44,000 subscribers. We didn't know that that many people actually like watching our stuff. We really thank you from the bottom of our heart. We couldn't yep. do it without you, so really, we we, we really want to thank you. Anytime you get a chance to comment, like, and share all our crap, helps us out a lot. Love it when you support us by buying our merch. Yeah. Go check it out. Thank you guys very much for watching. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. Stay alive. Here's to 2022. 762Z.com. <laughs>